Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this demo I'm going to show you a demonstration of online electric soft project and again this is a, a Java project and that is using JSP and Servlet so uh, for them to manage the backend it's using Servlet and for the front end it's using JSP, HTML, CSS and Bootstrap and to store the information it's using MySQL database so into the MySQL we are using MySQL work ventures and ID to view the data so it has a table like this is a database and it has a table <coughs> card table category content and contact its uh, invoice product role and users so there are two types of role in this application uh, in the user table if you check the user roles tables and in the user table if you see the two types of role uh, role ID one and two one always will be for the admin and two always will be for the end user or the customer user so in case you need the source code, you can connect us over the Skype, WhatsApp or <coughs> mail and don't worry about the configuration. We will do this complete setup at your machine and after buying the project, we will assign one person, one remote, one, one, one remote member to you and they will take responsibility to run the application at your machine. And after that, you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application. Right. So let's just start the demo. Uh, first step, you have to run uh, like how can you run the application? Now first make sure your ID Eclipse or STS uh, should be running and the next uh, required thing is MySQL Workbench that is running here. So in order to run the application just right click on it, go to run as, run it as on server, select the server as a Tomcat, click next, click finish, automatically it will launch over your Chrome browser and uh, it will take some time so uh, to start the server so just wait and you can see the server is going to start now and it's started i'm going to close other tabs okay so this is the front end the application will look like this and here into the product section you can check the products available products uh, we can filter out the product according to this their categories like tvs iron and different electronic items are there also we have a search product option over there so if i want to search a product by this name let's suppose i'm going to search the product by this name i can enter this name click on the search it will filter out the data for me here's the contact page if user going to submit the data it will store the information like i'm going to fill up some data and just click on the save data is saved successfully and it will display to the contact table over here and this is a new record that we have just added and other option uh, over the home page we have a home page product contact and search option search product login and register and why we have registration registration is for the new user if new user want to register into the application they can simply fill it out fill, fill, fill out this information and they can register over there they need to fill up some um, valid information so let's register as a new user so i'm going to enter our login id the password is already there the email is there Phone number should be a 10 digit valid phone number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the shipping address billing address hit the sign up so user is registered successfully now if i'm going to view my user table here the new record is there that we have just registered and the important option is a login and there are two types of roles in the application the admin role and the user role so first let's log in as an admin and check what admin can do so for that the credential will be available to the user table so this is the login id is in the password so i'm going to enter this as a login id and the password and let's log in as an admin and check what admin can do so admin have authority to add another admin from here and admin can add a category so we can add a new category over there so currently we have two category iron and tv remote so let's add another category let's say music music equipment so which i'm going to just go over to my desktop image i need some images so let's say electronic images so i'm just adding some dummy images over there you can add the meaningful um, image when i save the data is saved, uh, successfully saved and if I check the categories it will display like this uh, but you see the image is not coming so just refresh the page again right but sometime it will take uh, to refresh the server or load the high uh, images like the image that is high in a size what we can do apart from the adding the category we can delete any category we can edit any category if I want delete I just need to hit the delete button it will delete it 
okay under the product section okay now if you notice we have another category here as a magic i can filter out the data and as a like remote a remote iron remote and music but into the music category we don't have any product so let's add a new product so when i go to the product i can say new product add new product option is there first thing i need to select a category then i need to select the product name so they say product i just adding a product and the price let's say at 90 and um, uh, i need some product so i just added this product typo and click on save so accept successfully now if i check my product section you can see the products is coming here again for the product we have edit and delete option we can edit now now if i filter out the data according to my music category it should be display over there okay i guess uh, i didn't add i i, I added this into my uh, remote category so let's edit it and let's edit it into the music category again i'm going to upload the image i save it now if i go my product section if i filter out the data as a music category it will display me like this okay here after product we can check the sale history admin can check the sale history of the, all the users and we can check the contacts that is submitted by the user my profile and logout option is there now recently we have just registered as a new user this was the user now let's log in with this user and check what this user can do also in the product section if i click on the add to cart let's suppose i want to buy this product so when you hit the add to cart it will redirect me over the login page and from here i need to log in as a user if i'm not an existing user i can register as a new user and then i can log in and buy the product so i just log in when i logged in here i can see the product section card sections is there so currently the card is empty i can directly move from here to continue shopping and product is there so let's suppose i want to buy this product so i just click on add to card so automatically it will redirect me over the card and i can update my quantity from here if i want so let's, so let's say i want two quantity i click on the update it will update it the price and the shipping charges and all the details it will create a meaningful things and when i click on the view it will view a uh, complete detail of the project it will redirect me over the detail page i also have a delete option so i can delete up uh, item from the card and i can check out from here uh, automatically it will fetch my details and uh, from my account and when i hit the submit button it will ask me to uh, enter the full name and the click payment details so this is a dummy payment gateway so it's, it's, it's not real time payment gateway so it's a dummy payment page and uh, it's done the payment is done and this is an invoice check out invoice and when i click the history i will it will display me the history but if you notice the for the admin uh, admin can check the history of all the users the payment history and the shopping and the uh, payment history and you can say the product buy history but uh, for this user this is this is an end user so it can check the history of itself uh, and again in the contact page we can do the contact now if i view the card is again empty because we have done the payment and process my profile and and again move to the home page um, that's it uh, like uh, the electronic shopping project and it's an e-commerce application in java it's a web application it's using tomcat may one thing is there so it's a good project and um, if you need or if you buy if you want to buy this project if you want to purchase this project from code one just connect us over the skype bots or your email and you can check the link in the description box as well that will redirect you over the page where you can check the clear specification of the application so you can directly buy it from there as well thank you